What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Steven Womack and last week I did these amazing shots with Alba, a model here from Spain. We went to the studio really close here um, in Barcelona, beautiful studio, that kind of loft character and we created these really nice 1980s um, Kelvin Klein inspired shots right here that black and white tone not only just black and white but also really a vintage structure to it a vintage texture um, to the pictures and a little bit of that warm uh, tint to it so it's not just black and white it's a little um, it has a little orange tint and that's what I want to show you today I want to show you how to recreate exactly this look using only your smartphone the free Lightroom app and another free app to then later overlay that texture I've also included the texture and of course as always I've also created a preset for you guys if you want to save some time it's linked under this video it's in the all presets pack with over 250 presets for you to easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great and that texture that we need for this uh, vintage look overlay um, is also included in that all presets pack so make sure to check that out link is under this video of course subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell and if there's anything else you need from me as always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle and I'm really always um, really excited to hear from you and I'll reply as fast as I can now let's jump right into uh, the edit. The first thing we wanna do is the colors, get those uh, lights, the saturation right, and we're gonna do that in the free Lightroom app. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. And now I've imported this picture of Alba. First thing we do is go to light here and then go to curve on the upper right side and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So on the bottom left side, we pull that up, the shadows, and then just um, try to pull right back down next to it and then create that soft bow towards the upper right side, the highlights, and we wanna pull the highlights just down a little bit. And once we have this like this, we're done here. Next thing we do is boost up the contrast to around plus three. Then we pull down the highlights to negative 14, boost up the shadows to plus 10 or 11, and the whites, we wanna pull them down to negative 33 or 32, and the blacks all the way down to negative 19 right here. Then we go over to colors, and since this is a black and white look, we just wanna pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100. Then the next thing we do is scroll up here, we go to grading on top, and now we're gonna give it that kind of orange tint, but really subtle, so for the shadows, we pull to a hue of 46, that orange tone, and the saturation up to around 11 in this case. Then the mid-tone, same thing, Q31, saturation up a little bit to around plus nine or 10. And the highlights again, Q246, that orange uh, color tone, and the saturation up to around 10 again. And then we're done here. We can see that soft, warm look to it. Last thing we do in the effects tab is just boost up the texture to around plus 18 right here clarity up as well to around plus 12 and dehaze we want to boost that up to around plus 16 right there and then of course we want to add a little bit of grain to make it look more vintage to around 31 is perfect once we have this we're done here we're going to export the picture and now we're going to add that really nice uh, vintage um, overlay on top that texture to make it look real and um, shot on film in the 1980s. So that's what we're gonna do right now. For this, you'll need this overlay. It's kind of like a black picture with white scratches on top. I've also included this um, into my all presets pack. It's linked under this video, as I said in the beginning. So once you've downloaded this, we're gonna go to an app called Fused. It's also a free app. So what we do is open the Fused app. And now the first thing we want to do is open the picture that we have just created in Lightroom. So we tap to choose background here, and then we choose this picture right here. We're gonna use the original format and hit the check mark. Now we go to tap to choose foreground right there, and now you want to choose this black and white, um, yeah, this black scratch paper that you downloaded from the pack. Open that up, and now it's laid on top here. It's doesn't really look good yet so we go to the blending the two circles right there and then you want to go over to where it says add right here and this is the blending mode we need now you can of course increase the effect or decrease it a little bit that's going to make it look kind of like paper that 1980s effect it's really cool hit the check mark 
hit export on the upper right side here and now it's saving the project. So now it's saving to your camera roll and we are done here. And this is it guys, here's a full before and after of what we created today, this 1980s uh, Kelvin Klein ad inspired look that I wanted to share with you guys. Once again, make sure to download the preset and the overlay from the link under this video. It's in that all presets pack with over 250 presets that you can easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically updated to the pack. So you just have to buy it once and you'll get a growing presets pack, which is a great deal. So make sure to check that out. Of course, if there's anything else you need, questions, new ideas for new videos, always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm really always open for all of your um, feedback, for your questions, for your inspiration. So thanks so much for showing all the love and the support. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.